Des, King of the Pit TV signing in. We're listening to Bowling for Soup's uh, self-titled record, 1994. That's when it was released. Start to finish, I'm getting a little bit tired, so I might slow my words a bit. I might fall asleep any moment now. But this one's entitled Monopoly. Let's go. Cool tune. This is the second bit of lead guitar, I think. Since we started, the very first bit of lead guitar was like in the first song. My question is, would Bowling for Soup be as successful as they are if it wasn't for this fella here, the bald fella? Uh, is he the bassist in the band? He's a character, man. Like, I think he's the he's the boldest member of the band. He's, um, like, the boldest character. I really like that fella. I don't know who he is, what he's really like, but he always looks cool as all, and I think he's a good representative of the band. Yeah, that's what I think. I think when I think of bowling for soup, I think of that dude jamming out. sound of this tune sounds so much more developed and well written than what we've heard so far. I don't know if it's just because it's a little more high octane with the tempo and the energy, but the guitar solo was tasty. Um, this is uploaded from a different individual. This is Ella Ray, um, not Daynut, who was uploading the previous recordings. So maybe it's just a production thing and this individual has a better quality of audio. But... This is a good tune. This is a really good tune. This 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 is, seems miles ahead from what I've heard so far in my personal opinion. Even though it's the same four chords. And then it cuts out. The uploader said in the comments, apologies, it cuts out. That's a shame. Maybe it's not as short as 2 minutes 20. And maybe we'll never know. But that that's a great tune. Regardless, that could go on for 5 minutes longer. That's a good tune. We've got London Bridge coming up next. The shortened version. Oh. 